let me go in to this particular issue. When we're looking at this, you mentioned that you have 100 percent dual authentication throughout the system. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, that's my understanding. Yes. All right. And I, you're filling some very big shoes. I happen to be a fan of Ms. Cobert. She actually, uh, we come from very different sides of the aisle, but she was always very responsive to this committee and to me personally. And so I, I want to make sure that we can clarify uh, perhaps your testimony, because the 100 percent dual authentication is really just at the front door, is it not? Because we have indications from the IG that there is still a whole lot within the system, that if they get in the front door, that only two of 46 systems inside would require that. Is that your understanding? Um, you may want to refer. I, I, yes. think, I think the CIO <laughs> I, wants to I jump in here. I think I will here. defer to Mr. DeVries to Thank answer you, that. Thank you. Uh, so we have multi-factor authentication in there for the users, the standard users who come onto the network. That is correct, 100 percent. To get onto the networks, they require their But once in. in. No. Once they get in, they are still then authorized their access based upon those attributes and their roles of what they're assigned to. So they're not given uh, So how, how do you to respond do to the, the IG that said only two of 46 systems would actually uh, uh, of the major applications would require uh, PIV authentication. Is that not accurate? I'd like to go back and look at that. I'll defer to my CISO here, but that is that is that does not um, ring true to how we... Because this isn't my first rodeo. I've been, yeah. I've been here with a, a number of folks. In fact, I called for the resignation of the OPM director uh, when there were similar terms that we I'm hearing today that give me concern that we're making progress. And I guess how do we define success? At what point will we have all the major applications? And, and Mr. Lynch talked about the encryption. Correct. Now, we've been promised encryption over and over and over again, and yet even today we're not there with, so are all the Social Security numbers encrypted today? No, sir. Okay. When will they be encrypted? But I have. What, just time frame. When will they be encrypted? All the Social Security numbers. That, I mean, that's basic. I've got encryption better than that on my home computer, and here we are. We have resources. Is it a lack of resources? Sir, it was somewhat due to that, and also schedule change here on the mainframe. That's the only one that is that was delayed, and I've re-energized that one back in there. That is so when is it going to be done? End so, of 2017, sir. And so we will have everything encrypted by the end of 2017 fiscal year? The, the, the HVA system, the high value assets, which includes the Social Security numbers and so forth, will be encrypted this year, yes. All right. In terms of segmentation, uh, how do you segment a legacy system? Representative. Either one of you can answer it. Um, so again, as a part of our strategy, we looked at all the systems and all the IT system inventories that we had out there. We determined which ones. So are you going from a zero trust? That, that's the idea is to use that zero trust tenant. Absolutely. So you rushed into the fire. Ran into it, sir. And so as you ran into the fire, you decided from a zero trust aspect that you're going to look at every single system. Absolutely. All right. So we can tell all of those uh, employees or potential employees or those who have had uh, their personal life history looked at that by the end of 2017 that you have great assurance that we have the most up-to-date, sophisticated cybersecurity protection that they will ever see and it will be segmented in a way that if somebody gets in the front door, that they won't be able to go through the whole system. Is that correct? That is correct. And there's also many, many compensating controls that reside in the network. So we have our network analysis tool. We have our data loss prevention tool. We have uh, malware detection tools. And then we actually have a 24-7 security operations center that is on glass watching for those events to come through. I yield back. Thank the chairman.